was tasked with setting up our Christmas tree with all these three printed items. I wonder whose idea it was. Every year, STL Flix releases Christmas models early, so you can sell and print them in time. Now that everything is released, I will set up our Christmas tree with our models. Let's start with the ornaments, because this Christmas we have many different ones. They are so cute! Let's add them up. Santa guns on top. All these ornaments I just put up are part of the drop 175. You can find them in the description. They're so cute! Another drop that can be hung on the tree is this one. Stuff, which is the drop again? Oh, it's the extra drop 66. Christmas characters, members. There's Santa, the one and only Father Christmas. <laughs> Does Christmas even have a father? Let's start with this Green Goblin. The Spider-Man villain. <laughs> he likes being up there. Now, this is my favorite baby kitty. Now I tip for those printing at home. Pay attention to the colors of Santa Claus. There's red, white, beige, and black. Mrs. Claus has these colors too. And so does this ornament. Sometimes you can print them all in one build plate to optimize. At Christmas, we often use similar colors to print things. For example, here's Mrs. Claus and Santa Claus. But notice how long which one takes. It takes about 20 hours each because of all the color changes. 20 hours just to print one Mrs. Claus. And then another 21 hours for the other. Get everything with the same colors. What we can do is simply print them together. It would have taken 42 hours, but now it's just a day and 3 hours. So printing them all together can save time and filament. To lessen the purging, we can enable the new bamboo feature. They recommend setting it as 0.5, but I like to set it to 0.55 for safe measure to avoid smudging and let's slice again. Now it's down to 23 hours together, saving about 100 grams. And you don't need to print just one by one. Get everything with the same colors, red, white, black, and print them together. It makes a huge difference in time and filament usage. There's also people saying this bamboo setting still has many errors. I haven't had any issues so far, but there's a video by Hugo, linked in the card and description, where he modifies the filament G code for color change. So you don't need to change the filament setting, which is said to be safer. So go check out Hugo's channel. I will leave the link to the video where he explains how to reduce the infamous bamboo lab purging by up to 70%. If you are afraid of printing all that, hop to the STL Academy and get the print like a pro method. You will become a 3D printing whiz. Now let's add another one down, but not broken. If traditional Christmas is not up your alley and you prefer something quirky, this drop is for you. The gingerbread man went nuts, Santa went cuckoo and ate. We have the wacky gift here too. Let's place this next to the others. Aw, this one's not monstrous. It's super cute. It's a little dragon. Oh, what? A tree on top of a tree? Three ornaments are done. But we have more than just three ornaments. We also have various Christmas countdowns for you to decorate your home. But since we are at the office, let's decorate people's desks. If you're a subscriber, you may know who this is. It's Shark, aka Lincoln. If the editor doesn't put his face over there, He's fired. Let's put this tree in here. For this, you have two options. We can use the gift boxes or these little houses. The first countdown ready. Now let's move to the next stop for the next countdown. Bruno's must be something simple because he won't want anything too fancy. I think I already have it. Santa Claus climbing the stairs. That's it. Next room, the conference room. Let's put it right here in the middle. Out with Halloween, let's add these little presents. This one has kind of an assembly. And speaking of assembly, if you have any questions about assembling or slicing, just scroll down the page of the model you choose and there will be a video on assembly and how to slice it, if you're a subscriber. 
And look at this, STL Flix filament box. It's already available in Brazil, but it will be available to you wherever you are very soon, so keep an eye out. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, see? You can put stuff inside, like motivational message or candy. You created this one for the social media team? I think I will leave it right here. Next, I'm going to place the one I like the most in my office, because I call the shots here. I found this super cute and adorable. Handsome guy. Maki, would you like a gift? Here, take a gift. <laughs> now we have to set the scene. Two dollars or a mystery gift? This countdown is really something else. While I'm assembling this, I'd like to tell you guys that all these models are designed for sale. So if you are subscribed to STL Flix and have any questions about selling your prints, we have several videos by Lincoln on our channel how to sell these models effectively, along with the zero to revenue course that takes you from zero to millions in sales. Is my brain smart enough for this? Apparently not. Have you ever seen a Christmas tree with earrings? Another one done. This one is the best, so let's place it by the tree. Which now has a base. It has grass underneath it. This one is so cute. Each log counts down a day. It's a tempting, but no, don't eat it. It's not chocolate. I'll leave it beside our tree and place some presents around. We've finished decorating our Christmas tree with 3D prints and our whole office. We've placed small countdowns around strategic spots for everyone to see. Did you like it? Would you 3D print Christmas decoration for your home? If you have a printer, I think it's mandatory because they look so cute. Look at this. We can spice things up with traditional ornaments, but with 3D printing, everything is unique. If you like any of these models, just click the link in the description to find everything on our platform. That's it folks, hope you enjoyed the video, see you in the next one, bye bye!